Hello, wonderful person, and welcome to this unusual game called Space Plan. Now, today I'm going to talk about this free-to-play clicker game, which I would normally never really consider reviewing, but in this case, it is kind of special, and let me actually just show you why. First of all, this is actually a space, um, I guess you can call it themed clicker game, where you discover yourself on board of a spacecraft that is going to be doing something unusual. Uh, what makes this game a little bit different from a normal clicker game is that it also has a storyline that is displayed right here in the word outputter. And this is actually why I decided to take a look at it. Because as you'll discover in a second, this game gets really, really complex and the storyline here is pretty amazing. Now, this is not a true space game, but it does have a lot of space related things going on here that you'll discover in a few seconds. And what makes this game so unusual is that, well, first of all, it's all browser based. It's all played entirely in your browser. And um, it is essentially uh, a clicker game that involves a little bit of science or actually quite a lot of science. Now here you basically, your job initially is to uh, click on this little button to create energy for your uh, craft that you can actually rename. This uh, this is called Hopper R-Type, but you can always rename it into something else. I'm just going to keep it as this. And essentially the energy as it collects um, in your, uh, I guess, batteries, you would call them batteries, I'm guessing, um, will provide more and more things to your spacecraft. So in the beginning, you have nothing. You basically have no idea where you are. You're totally lost. You're, you're kind of orbiting some kind of a mess, but you, you don't really know much about it. Here, you kind of discover that your spacecraft has potatoes, and apparently you can use these potatoes to produce energy. And that's essentially how this all starts. Interestingly, though, um, it is kind of scientific. It, it does involve quite a lot of um, really cool ideas. And then once you reach a certain point, you'll discover that your craft is actually orbiting a strange planet. And this strange planet is what you have to learn about by sending various probes that you'll see appear here as you progress through the game and by essentially giving yourself more and more energy. Now this uh, right here is actually really worth reading because it does provide you with quite a lot of um, story driven sort of elements that will help you understand where you are, what's going on and what's happening. And uh, I don't want to spoil this too much, but basically once you start playing a game, once you actually start discovering more and more um, about things here, uh, things will start getting a little bit more complicated. You'll discover more and more scientific elements. You'll start updating your um, various elements. And this is uh, what you'll probably see. And so here is what you'll see after playing this for a few hours. So you'll have your spacecraft, you'll have various probes that you launch yourself, um, and um, you'll also have these various potato probes that will land on, on this planet and not only produce energy for you, but will also um, provide a bit of a research and will help you discover things about uh, this unusual system and this unusual planet. Now, interestingly, there's quite a lot of various elements, just like in many other clickers. So there's things like Sp Spodnik, which is a play in words because Spod is something a potato has. There's a potato plant that you can actually land on the surface and there's a little satellite that's going to basically uh, get launched from your, sh from your ship and then land on the planet and start producing energy for you. And there's a lot of other things as well, including something called Spot Gun, which I haven't really uncovered yet. Um, these ideal lister thingies, these are basically updates for your spacecraft. And so like this mo uh, pod module, for example, uh, will prepare escape pod for a harsh landing. Ship will remain in orbit producing things. Let's get that and see what happens. Um, and uh, as you've probably already realized, this is essentially, and this is a bit of a spoiler, so if you don't want to know, don't listen, but this is Earth, and it says it right here. This is Earth, atmosphere thick, everyone seems to be dead. And your job in this game is to go through the storyline by progressing through these clicker missions. You don't even have to click this anymore, actually, because you'll be able to produce energy without clicking anything. Your job is to essentially discover what exactly happened to your beautiful planet. So like, for example, with this right here, return to Earth, eject from your hopper and return to Earth. I may want to actually do this, but I don't want to spoil this game for you, so I'm not going to click this just yet. Uh, but this right here, um, what does this give us? Each uh, kinetic gen press is enough to make the galaxy wins. 10,000 watts per click. Yeah, I'll want to take that. I want to take, take that because now I'll be able to produce quite a lot of energy by clicking my energy button. 
This is something I should have taken a long time ago. Uh, now, uh, the cool elements in this game that I really enjoy are the scientific elements, of course, because here you'll see there's night and day cycle, there's even seasons, there's shadows, there's um, orbital elements and different satellites that you can launch. Like, for example, I can actually launch my uh, Sputnik, which will create a little bit more energy, but you'll see it appear right here. And we'll actually start orbiting in a very eccentric orbit. Um, and uh, on top of all of this, you, of course, also have um, your spacecraft that it can be upgraded and uh, create various other elements, of course. Uh, so all in all, this is actually kind of fun, considering this is absolutely free to play and considering this is kind of you know, space oriented. This has a storyline and the storyline is actually kind of fun and funny because there's a lot of humor behind it. I mean, come on, seriously, you have potatoes, you launch potatoes and they produce energy. How is that not funny? Uh, something called pro potato. Absolutely hilarious. So yeah, all of these elements added together produce this really, really awesome free-to-play uh, kind of fun time waster slash video game that actually might teach you something as well because there's quite a lot of space exploration elements to it and there's quite a lot of um, ideas that might actually be worth discussing as well because, you know, what exactly happened on this planet? Um, as you find out later on, this is actually something like two or three hundred years in the future so something may have occurred and a lot of other cool things as well including the fact that uh, there's like ideas of chemistry and producing electricity by using vegetables including potatoes of course which is of course possible because you could technically technically create a potato energy uh, cell quite easily so maybe it's something that you might want to discuss while playing this game so that's uh, Space Plan. This is a game that I totally recommend trying. I'm posting the link for this game in the description below. And this is really, really, really fun to play. It's a great uh, idling game where you basically not only uh, progress through your uh, levels here, or levels of equipment, but you also learn a little bit more about the storyline. And from what I've read and from what I've heard, because I actually personally have not finished this game yet, this actually has some kind of an incredible, super awesome ending. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this game and to basically witness what there is at the end. Um, oh yeah, the cool thing that I forgot to mention is that every time you're in the shadow here, you'll notice that you produce less energy because it totally makes sense, right? As soon as you come out of the shadow, you produce more energy again. So there's a lot of really awesome, uh, realistic scientific elements. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this particular video. This is Space Plan. You can find this game in the description below uh, on a website called jhollands.co.uk slash space plan. Give it a try. Check it out. You might actually learn something about the universe, about our solar system and about science. And you might actually be able to finish this game and learn the, tr the ultimate truth at the end. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Give you later. And as always, bye bye. And I'm going to go ahead and watch a few more Spodniks. And look at them all go. They're about to land on the, on the beautiful abandoned planet Earth and possibly learn some other incredible truth. Let's find out what's going on in there. And I'm going to go ahead and click this button.